Race number five of the afternoon, the Nova Scotia Stake for three-year-old pacing Colts going for a purse of $10,065. It has Aaron L, PH Blackjack, Preceptor, JG's Willie, AB's Future, and Cowboy Jill. They're off and uh, pacing away quickly is Preceptor. On the outside, that's J.G.'s Willie. And on the inside, Aaron L. A little steppy there as they race out of the opening eighth. Out front, Preceptor emerging with the early lead. Getting away in the pocket is P.H. Blackjack with J.G.'s Willie. Pacing along in three, driving up into the four spot, A.B.'s Future. Then back in five, that is Aaron L. And gapped out of the back, Cowboy Jill. As they arrive at the opening quarter, that's Preceptor in control. P.H. Blackjack will get a golden journey in the pocket. Second, J.G.'s Willie holding down the three spot. A.B.'s future is fourth. Then back in five is Aaron L. And closing up that gap from six is Cowboy Jill. 28 and four was the initial quarter. They continue off the top turn, racing on into the stretch now as they approach the half. No change in the front end. Preceptor continues to chart the path with P.H. Blackjack intent to follow along in the pocket. The first up attacker, here comes Aaron L up on the outside into second, followed by A.B.'s Fitcher on the limb in four, fifth inside. That is J.G.'s Willie and Cowboy Jill is still at the back into the lower turn. They move on to the five-eighths and up front. It's still Preceptor being prompted along with the first stop attacker, Aaron L. In the pocket is P.H. Blackjack pacing third. A.B.'s Fitcher outside set to go three wide from four. They were by the half in a minute, one-fifth second. They arrive at three quarters, and Preceptor is out by two and a half, three. P.H. Blackjack in pursuit second. Aaron L. third outside wide fourth. A.B.'s Fitcher, then J.G.'s Willie, and Cowboy Jill. They race out of the seven eight. One twenty nine was the three quarters. It's Preceptor, but here comes P.H. Blackjack out of the pocket. They swing off the top turn. Less than an eighth to come. Preceptor with the lead. P.H. Blackjack on the outside has taken aim as they drive down the lane. P.H. Blackjack on the outside has taken over. P.H. Blackjack up to win the Nova Scotia Stake for Jody Jamison. Second is Preceptor and holding for third is Aaron L. I'm here with Jody Jameson. He brings his number two, P.H. Blackjack, back to the winner's circle after winning the $10,000 Nova Scotia stake. Uh, Jody, this horse looked like he was a bit fired up in post-parade and scoring down, uh, but you worked yourself out a pretty good trip in the two-hole there. Yeah, I mean, he was, uh, Al thought he was sharp. I talked to Todd before, and, you know, I, was, I think, you know, Todd would have liked to win with him, and I, I'm, I'm sure he could have. He just worked out that uh, the people from Ontario asked him, wanted me to drive him, so. Uh, I've got a perfect trip right in the two-hole behind the best horse in the race, and, uh, you know, it worked out great. There's a heavy wind in the backside, so, uh, you know, uh, he did all the work both times up the backside, so it worked out good. I've been doing most of the work all day in the backside and uh, hasn't been working out, so it worked out better to this time. Perfect. you got a couple more live drives later on today, and we'll talk to you here in a few minutes. Back in victory lane is the winner of the fifth race, the Nova Scotia Stake for three-year-old pacing Colts, number 2PH Blackjack. He's a black gilded son of Mantorius, son of the dream away damn my fine lady. Was bred by Dr. Jim Shive, now owned by Ed Grock of Sudbury and Mike Freely of Hamilton, Ontario. Trained by Al McNeil, Jody Jamison with the catch driving victory, PH Blackjack with a new lifetime best of 159 and two-fifths.